Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Our last video, we count down our top five most beautiful Asian girls. And so, oh, Asian women, right? All right, so this week, we're also going to be talking about the most beautiful Asians, but we're going to be talking about the men's edition. Because I'm all about them, 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 them. So let's start with a uh, bang, all right? So I'm gonna hear, some, I wanna hear some applause after this. Number number five is Tom. Bruce Lee. Of <laughs> course, come on, he's so yeah. handsome. He is. He's I, I didn't so think handsome. handsome. He's so much swag. <laughs> so much girls with him, and everything got moving. Like he, girls he's dying. He's like the only Asian, uh, like like. Uh, Kung Fu or Master or master, whatever it is. Kung Fu that, films. Yeah, that he actually have a lot of women and he, you know, he kissed them and make out with them yeah. in a sense. A lot of the other guys, like especially my Jet Li, never kissed anybody. I'm Jet Li. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You were young and handsome. <laughs> okay, go on. He's so charming. Okay, my number five is somebody that I feel like, you know, I debated a long time, but I think that... That you were going to marry him? Yes, yeah. whether or not I was going to marry him. But... My t uh, my number five is uh, Kim Ji Hoon, and you oh, don't yeah. really know his face. So I'm gonna put his photo here for you to look at. Okay. Um, he's from Lie to Me, and uh, I yeah, just the think two couples, yeah. yes, I just think he is so charming. Um, at the beginning, I think you watched a little part of the mm -hmm. drama with me, and he was kind of like chunky looking, a face. You're like I'm not sure he's cute or not, and then later on, he just grew on me, and now I want him to be my husband. Yeah. Um, we had actually done this list uh, once before. Yeah, like, I don't know, a year or two ago. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this guy was like, I think number two, but he's number one, number four now. Yeah, I kind of re-evaluate yeah, my life. Yeah, <laughs> we had to rethink our lives. Okay, so number four is very, very popular and also an ageless man. He gets, he's like fine wine, he gets better with the years mm, I think I know as the year goes on. About. And I'm talking about Mr. Aaron Kwok. Yes, Aww. Mr. Aaron. <laughs> you guys um, know you agree with me. Yeah, I, I, I think he made movie before I was born, yes. and now I think that I don't even look good enough to be his, his. mistress. <laughs> <laughs> He's not married yet, so we can't be married. Yeah, okay, and now if, I, I don't look good enough for, for him anyways, yes, you know. You can't be, we're not good enough to be all candy. For My number four is Mr. Wang Bin. <laughs> But that movie got to me, and then his most recent movie, Man From Nowhere, just think he just got better looking. You know, when he was younger, he had the baby face, he was so cute, and now he's like, mm, he Manly. grew up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the thing about him is like, I, I'm, I'm always like, I want to know what he's up to, what, what movies have I missed from him. You know what, he's not, he doesn't really do a lot of movies. Yeah. I think he lives off like endorsements. Yeah. Because he's so I handsome. mean, he, yeah, he has that face. He's like, so. I don't need to work. Yeah. My face pays for my living. <laughs> He, he probably had a loyalty from all these other oh, businesses, yeah. but yeah. And by us constantly watching Autumn My Heart. Three. Number three, okay. So this is my favorite guy at the moment. You guys know me, or you guys have And he's your number three, okay. He's number three, mm. okay. <clears throat> he's all, if you're on my Instagram or Facebook, I'm always posting about him. I gotta be realistic. To me, he is the most handsome man in the world, but we're talking about like, you know, in the world. <laughs> in the world, like to other people. I'm considering you guys. I'm being considerate to other people too. But, but this is your list. To but me, I guess. he is the most handsome man. I'm talking about Mr. So Wallace Ho Ti Hua. Of course, I gotta say his whole name because I love him so much. Um, and of course, uh, if you guys are a big drama watcher, you guys already know who he is. He's newly married. He's like been married for like two months. But Broke a lot of fangirls' <laughs> heart. Mm -hmm. And I know that he's good looking because I've seen him bald. <laughs> and I think that any man that looks handsome, ball is damn handsome. And yeah, they don't need anything uh, else but their face. The reason why he's not high up on my list is because I don't think that he's that good looking too. But like when I think about him, it's not his physicality that comes to mind. It's his spirit. That's how far I've gone. <laughs> <with Wallace. laughs> okay. Wow, he has a presence without his presence. Yes. Somehow. Yes. When okay. I think about him, it's not a person anymore. It's his spirit. Okay, number yeah. two, uh, okay. number three for you, right? He, uh -huh. he can't be seen. He's being felt. Yes, his presence. <laughs> but my number three is Mr. Tick 
Chesa Dapon. Oh. And I think he is forever, actor. yes, mm -hmm. he's forever handsome in my eyes because I watched him as a little girl also. Mm -hmm. And now he's still making all these little girls. I know, yeah. yeah, it's my childhood. I can't get rid of But I feel like as he gets older, he's still handsome. Right now, he's still doing dramas uh -huh. and stuff, and he is still really good looking. And I think that's something that will always stick with me and why I keep picking him mm -hmm. is because he has the kind of smile that just melts any girl's heart. Mm -hmm. If you ever seen him smile before or see him cry, you want to smile with him, you want to cry with him. Yeah, he's just that kind of so that, yeah. that kind of man. Go look at him smile in pictures, go watch him smile in motion, you know. Go watch him cry. Yeah. yeah. You would know. <laughs> yes. You'll understand yeah. my pain and my very, happiness. very, very charming smile. Yeah, very yeah. charming. Yeah, the kind I, of men I, I want in my life. Yay, shout out to my Thai actors and actresses. Okay. okay, what's your number two? Okay, I know what you actually like. Okay, number two. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, I'm like going to steal your thunder because I feel like he's going to be your number one. Okay, go on. All right, uh, this guy wasn't on my list previously, but he mm -hmm. is now because he's gotten older and I'm uh -huh. uh, Mr. King of Bollywood, uh, Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. Ooh, and also, um, really like him with him and Wallace because I love the way they 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 live life and how they talk about life and they're both just so inspiring as well as handsome handsome inside and outside with brains and sensibilities and a good mentor you know yeah. everything life all mentor. combined but oh I my think, god I think that please be my life mentor uh, Sheru Khan if you're not available Wallace Please, my, please be my life mentor. I know you guys are married, so the, the yeah, best see? we can do now is so, be our mentor. So we're not going to marry you anymore. We just want you for life mentors, okay? All right. <laughs> okay, my number two. I think a lot of girls, especially if they're big Korean drama fangirls, mm -hmm. they probably be like, oh, I don't know what you're thinking because it's kind of normal looking. But for me, it's because I don't like the, um, I don't know how I say it, but a lot of the young, uh, the new actors now, they're mm -hmm. very young looking. They're very delicate. Yeah. Yeah, they're very <laughs> delicate looking. Uh, I think that him and I will, you know, uh, have to wait for each other in the Spot restroom. skin care tips. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, so uh, my number two is Mr. Gong Yu. Oh. And yeah, he's so popular. Yeah, but not that a lot one of drama he did was a Coffee Prince. Yes. Yes, he's like forever. Like that the drama is forever. Prince. Yeah, but they, I don't think a lot of people would think that he's that handsome, you know, because mm. he doesn't fit that stereotype. They feel like we're gonna hear about this in the comments. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. fine. But you know, a lot of people uh -huh. probably like the. I'm just saying, making assumption that most girls who watch a lot of K dramas, they like the. Uh, the, the younger ones, oh, like, okay. uh, who, wh who's that? Oh my gosh, I can think of his name. Which one? No, I'm just thinking, like, one of the new, you oh, know. I don't know. Um, um, yeah, but anyway, not the right person to ask. One of, like, a lot of the newer uh, who's Korean popular? actors. I, uh, I, I, I just know. feel like they're uh, more delicate looking, like, even like G Dragon and all of them, you know, the uh, other ones. They're, um, you know, a little bit more. Um, if we talk about Lee Min Ho. Yes, like Lee Min Ho. Would that get us killed? He's not feminine. <laughs> no, but you know he has a baby face. Okay. I would just say that. Oh, I think okay. it's because I'm getting older that oh, I feel weird hitting on like younger crushing men. On, yeah, yeah. You so can't I just, crush on like Luhan or XO. Yeah. yeah, I can't crush on any of those 16 or 18 year old looking boys anymore. They yeah. look too young for my weird. taste. Yeah, it feels yeah. weird because I feel like uh, they were probably born when I was already dating. So it feels oh. weird. So anyways, what's your number one? Okay, you guys ready for this? I think you guys ready for this. Okay, so now number one is Mr. Takeshi Kaneshiro. Yay! Woo! Oh my god. I, oh, so freaking handsome. Alright, so I think my, my list changed a little bit, but number, number one, of course, has not changed. Uh, he's so handsome. Of course, we watched him when he, when he was much younger. I think he was... Um, we watched him when we were in elementary school. He was dashing, so yeah, he was dashing back mm -hmm. then. Now he's just like, a, of course, like Mr. Aaron Clogg, like fine wine. He just gets more handsome as he aged. And actually, now I think like right now, I love him with the long hair. Um, he likes half, the free spirit. Yes, he's half mm -hmm. Taiwanese and half Japanese, and and his Japanese is sexy as <laughs> heck. Um, his when he has his long hair and when he speaks Japanese, it's like oh. I melt into a puddle. All right, so that's my number one. But you, who's your number one? Uh, number one. So my number one is Mr. Shah Rukh Khan. Obviously, are yeah. you see? I was correct. I thought and I was I, your thunder. No, that's <laughs> fine because 
I'm sure you have your reason and yeah, I have my reason. Uh -huh. Like you said though, I think that he has, you know, I just love the way he lived his life and he stayed true. Alive. Yeah, he stayed true to who he is. I don't think he's easily, uh, easily influenced by other people mm -hmm. and just the way he gives advice and the way, you know, I think that, you know, sometimes when when you look at somebody like we'll just talk about like in high school there's a jock in your in your school and you're like he's not that cute and then all these girls are crazy about him and you're like maybe he is cute you know uh -huh. and for him he is good looking to me at the very beginning but there's millions of people who like worship him like a god mm -hmm. and now he is godly to me now <laughs> you know and so i'm just like yeah he was good looking maybe i don't see things that they see and now that i look at him closer i'm mm -hmm. like yeah he is godlike yeah. he is beautiful and i don't know just everything see see it's spiritual for. now right yeah, it's see now you understand he, mr Khan is a religion okay <laughs> <laughs> so i think that that's why i love him so much and you know i think that anybody i a lot of people across the world they know who he is mm -hmm. and um that's just how how powerful he is yeah. and that's why i love him I think we were very fortunate. Uh, I think the first movie that we watched of him was actually his very first movie, and I think it's called Diwani. And it's also my one of my favorite mm -hmm. um, Bollywood movies of all time too. So uh, I think we we're really fortunate to see the beginning of his journey. Sharu Khan, we've been friends from day one. That's our top five most handsome men. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you agree, disagree, like, dislike, let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Give this video a thumbs up if you want us to do more videos like this. Uh, also, let us know if you like this type of video so that we can make more. Or if you want to give us more suggestions, let us know so we can do that as well. Don't forget to click, uh, click the subscribe button and we will see you next time. Shinjiroa!